So 1.0 was the dark ages. This was when telecommunications rarely got into credit. It was, you know, it was done by glorified admins a lot of the time. It was, you know, there were some heroes out there, don't get me wrong, like Roger Dupree, Larry Reagan, but a lot of bad communication came out of communication one photos. It was a dark ages, it was a bad era. Um, we were everybody's private publisher. We had no buy-in from management, from leadership. We had no actual content uh, a lot of the time because we had to, they, they were, they weren't, we weren't included in any of the meetings that would give us content. So we were constantly struggling to fill our newsletters, remember newsletters? Um, constantly trying to fill our content with things and we just didn't have anything. We had CEO comments like this one, let's keep it up. He says with an exclamation point. And now, if you looked at that, what would you think was happening with that company? Everything's going great. Let's keep up. Keep doing what you're doing. Everything is great. And then you read it. Our customer satisfaction results have been so-so this year. <laughs> Through the third quarter, our financial results are behind plan due to a number of factors. All in all, it's been a difficult year from a market standpoint. Well, let's keep it up. And he said, he writes, and then if you watch this, you saw this over the months ahead as the company slowly slid into oblivion. You saw, let's keep it up. Let's continue our momentum. Our momentum continues right to the toilet. And this, this was classic 1.0 communication where we never acknowledge bad news. We're going to get to what we do now, so much better. The other thing about 1.0 is that whatever leadership was doing, it was news. This will lead to my favorite employee headline of all time in an employee newsletter. Senior management team meets offset. <laughs> no kidding. See, what's happening with employee communications now, which is 3.0, which we'll talk about it probably after the break, is this whole idea of three-way communication is taking In, in 1.0, it was all one-way communication. It was just, you know, top-down. Executives down with employees. That was it. 2.0, we started being more interactive. Started going two-way communications. Top-down, but then they could talk back to leaders a little bit. 3.0 is what I call three-way communication. Us to them, them to us, and them to each other. So you would say, hey, I'm going to communicate here to you. And what that is is, if you look at great strategic communication, and in employee communications 2.0 in that era, people finally started to figure it out. And that was our job as communicators and leadership was to communicate the what and the why down and the how up. Meaning, we have to articulate exactly what is happening and why it's happening, and then we got to ask our employees how they're going to help you know, solve the situation or solve the problem or solve, you know, help us achieve the business. So, you know, here's what needs to happen. Here's what needs to happen. Here's what needs to happen. Here's why it needs to happen, and here's how, we want to hear from you how you're going to help make it happen. That, that's, that's social media, that's three-way communications, that's employees talking to each other, that's employees talking to leadership. We have gone so far away from that one-way, top-down, push model of uh, publications, communications, and we're, we're becoming more, you know, I, I like to say, we'll talk about this later today, but instead of publishers, which is what we always have been, we're becoming more community organizers and community builders. We're setting up places on the internet, online, but we can still get our messages out. Leadership can still get our what and why messages out. But more importantly, we want to hear from employees how. And that's exactly what this was before the age of the internet took off, really. He was saying, here's what's happening. Doubts. Here's why it's happening. Here's all the threats. What and why down. And then here's what you can do to help. Now we put this online and say, we want to hear about what you're doing. And that's true way communication. And that's true. So the executives started taking us more seriously. And we started doing that strategic communication. We started tying individual employees to the company's success, something we had never done before. We had never ever done this before. In 2.0, we started saying, you know what? Let's figure out you know, what we're trying to achieve and then actually go out and find employees who are making that. So I'll tell you right now, I've helped communicate thousands of corporate initiatives over my career. They never work unless you show them how individual employees are doing. They, these people put on their intranet and said, hey, share your stories. Click on here to see how you're, again, what, why, down. So they did a good job explaining what these things are in their own communications and in leadership communications, stimulating, cultivating, and making grow. But then they went online and said, hey, we want to hear how you're making those four things happen. And they, got, they would get two dozen things a month from employees. And I talked to the editors who did this back when they did it. They'd get, you know, this became like a real hot topic for people. This became like a, like a badge of honor if you got your stuff out there. So this guy under the Grow Initiative, Hey, move to bring production in-house on our skill set saves thousands and accommodates another new product. Last year, what was happened this guy, Ed Jacobs, saved the company thousands, it was tied right directly to that initiative. This was employee communications 2.0. This was when 
employee communication started getting good. And we started realizing that these employees had as much to share about how this company runs and the success of this company as any executive out there. So, so again, what happens is three-way communication. One way, two way, and then these guys start talking to each other. Nowadays, of course, you open this up for comments, and these, these would be individual blogs, and these people probably get a conversation going on that. I'll show you how that happened to companies like HP and other companies in a little while. 